Good morning, uh, boys and girls. So while I'm cleaning my hands, I thought I'd invite you. It's not quite backstage, but this is sort of what happens on a Sunday where we're having communion. And normally the deacons would be doing this for us. We have a very special tablecloth, just like if you're having a special dinner. It's be beautifully embroidered with crosses. And you would set your table because you know you're going to have a special dinner and have special people to share it with. So our deacons would come in here and the choir would be singing while they're doing it. And they put out the special tablecloth. And then they would bring out just like you would at home, maybe if you have a special dinner, you might put candles on your table. So we'll do that, too, because when we light these candles, it reminds us of the Holy Spirit. So we'd have our special candles. And the disciples did this for Jesus. They set the table for him to have a very special supper. And it was going to be the last supper he had with them before his crucifixion. So they went to prepare the supper. So they did. They put out all the special things that they needed. And we had this beautiful chalice and plate that was Pastor Al's when we called him to be our pastor here. And in olden days, and even now especially, Every time you had dinner or lunch, and sometimes this would be your whole dinner or lunch, there was always bread. And so they would have bread on the table. I'm going to set two places here. It's going to be one. It's a little different from normal. Al and I will do this here at each end of the table. And it's very interesting because just like now in many places, the water wasn't really safe to drink. So for like special dinners, they might have wine, but a lot of people drank wine because the water wasn't safe. Places like that even now in the world. So I'm gonna pour a little cup for me. Just like our deacons do this, but they would do this for everyone. They have a special gadget for it that makes it a lot easier for them to do that. But I'm gonna set a place for Pastor Al. And then Jesus ate the dinner with his disciples, and they had a beautiful meal and talked to one another. And at the end of the meal, Jesus wanted to give his disciples and all of us a way to remember him and everything that he'd done after he was gone. And so instead of trying to think of something really strange, so it would be hard, he did something beautiful. He took something that was already on the table, and he took a loaf of bread from the table. He thought, I want to teach my disciples a lesson uh, that would help them remember what I was doing. And so what he did is he took the bread and he broke it and he passed it around to all of his disciples so they could share it. And he told all of them, everybody take a piece of this bread and eat it. And he wanted everyone to look at this and to remember that when he died on the cross, his body was broken for us. And this broken bread would be a way for us not only to remember, but to be grateful and especially to share it. And we're gonna do that this morning. And he also, he took the cup afterwards and he said, you know, God has made so many promises to us. Sometimes we forget those promises, but I wanna give you a way to remember this new promise that I've made you, that I've come so that all of your sins could be forgiven and you'd have eternal life with Jesus. And so he gave us this cup to share. He passed it around to all of his disciples and they shared it. And, you know, we are going to do that this morning, not here together in church, but wherever you are this morning, I hope that you're able to put something special out, a nice piece of bread, maybe some grape juice, and that when it comes time for communion, we will be able, Pastor Al and I will be here to do this, and we will be able to share this special meal that will nourish not just our bodies, but also our spirits. There was something else I wanted to put out on the table for us while we were talking. And it's definitely not from Bible times. This is a can of soup and some tuna. These are very simple things. They may be even things you have in your cupboard. There are people, I could walk out the door of our church today and there would be people who would be hungry in their body for bread. We today at one o'clock are gonna be collecting food. And so I am going to ask you to go in your cupboard. And if there's not really something you wanna do in your cupboard that you stop at the store on your way here, we have a nice list on our website of food that we can share. We're going to collect it today, and we're going to take it to our neighbors at Christ Episcopal Church, uh, where it goes out to about 120 families that really need our help. They really need us to help feed our neighbors. So I encourage you to encourage your mom and dad to help us do that today. 
Help us collect food for our neighbors while God has fed us. And I hope you enjoy sharing the Lord's Supper with your family. Amen.